It's the end of an era. So today is moving day. We got a car full of stuff here. Hi guys, what's up? I'm obviously in a different location. I'm in Florida. Hey, what's up? We came back to the apartment for a hot second, but we're here. Hey. Here's the state of my room currently. It's um, a mess. All this stuff is all packed, so that's great. This is all empty. Let's get the show on the road. Time to tackle the closet. So today is moving day. Um, it's a little bit bittersweet. I I liked my time here. It was a good experience. Not really much else I can say. I loved having like my own place. Granted, I was living with my mom, but still, I mean, having my own place, not living with like six people in my grandma's house, um, including me. I'm part of those six people. But it was a good adventure. I don't think anybody could have planned that there would be a pandemic happening and that kind of threw everything off and put things into perspective. So, you know, everything happens for a reason. I'm not mad at it. I am just taking it as a lesson and moving on with my life because, you know, sometimes we don't like when things happen or things not, might not be ideal for us, but in the long run we see that things were meant to happen that way. So I don't know what kind of lesson is going to be uh, brought to me here, but you know, it was a good one. I don't have much time to talk because I need to pack everything up. The movers are coming in a couple hours. Uh, my parents went to go get the truck, so uh, yeah. So let's move. Here's the current state of my room right now. It is kind of a mess, but organized. My mattress is all done. That, this is kind of like, whatever. This goes in my backpack. That's a shirt my backpack. These are, those are my shoes. Those are clothes I need to pack. And here is a bunch of uh, stuff to go in the truck. 
just random things. In here's the same thing, all this stuff goes in my backpack, so I'm not too worried about that, but. And it's all empty. For real. Let's check out the rest of the house. All right, and here's a little bit of a mess. So here's the kitchen table. This is from Ikea. These are from Ikea as well, the chairs and the cushions. We have cubes also from Ikea. These are our bikes. So we're gonna have to put them somewhere. A bunch of kitchen stuff. All kitchen. Everything's out. So that's the state of the apartment now. <laughs> um, it's, it's getting there. It's definitely getting there. We have to be out today, so. Oh my God, it's empty. Pretty much. All this. It's the end of an era, a very short era, but an era. I'm just walking around in my room now. It's completely, completely empty, which is so crazy to see. Like, I feel like I just moved down here. And granted, I didn't spend a lot of time in here. I spent a lot of time back up north at home because there was a pandemic going on. But I'm grateful for the time that I did spend here and I'm grateful for the friends and the memories that I've made. It's gonna be weird adjusting back to life there because I was kind of used to life here. Um, but, you know, I've lived up north for 20 years. How old was I? I was 21 when I moved down, so 21 years and I'm 22, so <laughs> not that long um, have I been down here. Yeah, it's the end of an era. I can't believe it. I feel better now. I was having an anxiety attack earlier because I was just so stressed about moving and the movers coming and having everything ready. I was just like completely nauseous. I was shaking. I felt so sick and I was just like <sighs> So I was like I was white as a ghost Not good This is crazy Am I gonna watch this video back in a few years and be like, oh my god, I was so young or oh my gosh Little did I know something was gonna happen to me Future Sam, please tell me what's gonna happen to me in my life. I don't know what's happening now. Hey guys, so today is cleaning day. It's Monday and we have until Saturday to move out of here. So we don't have too long, but we also don't have a lot of stuff. So it'll be really easy to clean, I think. I hope. My goal today is to get most of my room cleaned. I don't have a lot of things right now. We're just staying in my mom's room, so this room is kind of like empty, but I will show you the state of everything. So here's when you walk into my room. I just have my stuff over here. I have the windows, which I have to clean the windows today, so we'll be seeing that. There's no other furniture in this room, and we already vacuumed it, and we will vacuum it before we leave, but there's nothing like on the walls to clean, so that's good. In here we have the bathroom, hello. I don't have anything in any of these, so I'm just gonna be cleaning the cabinets and doing a wipe of the countertop. I just have like my skincare and stuff here. That's not a lot of stuff. The bathroom, which is right, the bathroom? The shower, which is right behind me, I'm not going to clean right now because we're obviously still going to be showering. So that's like the last thing to be cleaned. I have a bathtub here. Um, I never use this bathtub, so it shouldn't be too hard to clean, but I'm still gonna like wipe it down and clean everything. And the closet, we just have two towels in here. Kind of sad, but the closet doesn't really need any cleaning. So I think this should be pretty easy. I'm excited to clean because I love cleaning. It's very therapeutic. I'm going to be watching Doing It Ourselves. It's a YouTube channel. I haven't watched it in like four months. I didn't think it would be that long. I love watching their videos. They're just restoring an old French chateau. So it's kind of like the day-to-day -day stuff that's going on there. I really, really enjoy it. And that's what I've been watching. I've been catching up on all their videos. I'm almost to now, like I'm almost current. So I don't know what I'm gonna do after I'm done watching that, but right now it's almost 11 a.m. So I'm about to start cleaning now. We'll see how long this takes. It shouldn't be too long, I hope.
windows are cleaned so I feel very productive I got in I cleaned like the outside of the windows which just saw and I honestly never cleaned them before so that was the first time they got cleaned in at least 15 months whoops car full of stuff here. It's moving day. We're leaving in a couple minutes and it's really bittersweet. I don't think I've had enough time to like fully process that I'm not going to be able to come back here anymore. It was a great 15 months and I'm sad that it's over but I'm also happy that it's over. It's really bittersweet but like I said I haven't been able to process it because we've just been moving everything all day long like I, I woke up at 7 50 in the morning and i took a shower and then i started moving things out into the car and then we took a break we ate some breakfast and we ate some breakfast at our favorite french cafe for the last time which is sad i really love their food and now we're here pretty much everything is cleared out we just have like our purses to take down into the car and that's about it so thank you all for coming on this journey with me to florida and i hope that you stick around for everything that is coming next i'm really excited for what the future holds i don't know what is in store for the future but i'm really excited to find out so thank you i think this is the conclusion of the moving vlog thank you guys so much for watching be sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and hit the bell so that you're notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you like and comment, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.